Adding hyperlinks to a PowerPoint presentation is easy and a good way to create interactive app demos using simple presentation software like PowerPoint or Google Slides. To add the hyperlink, highlight the text and insert the hyperlink. Links can be added to other objects too, such as shapes and images. Select the text or object and add the link. Now, let's make the links link to slides within this presentation rather than linking to a website. Here we'll just add a little text to slide number two and then link that text so that when it's clicked in presentation mode, when it's clicked, it will go to slide one. That's how hyperlinks are used to make PowerPoint presentations that can be interactive app demos. Let's see this hyperlinking technique in app context. To start this PowerPoint, the screen dimensions for an iPhone 6 were used in the page setup dialog before building the slides. So now the screen sizes look right. We have the standard mobile GUI elements at the top of the screen with signal, time, and battery life. Next is a search bar followed by a row of five horizontal navigation buttons, an image, and five more navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen. Let's look at how these nav buttons were made. They were made with the shape tool in PowerPoint, then text was inserted in the shape, and a hyperlink was added to the shape. The buttons were centered and evenly spaced using the align and distribute tools. Text was entered into the shape by clicking on the shape and typing the text. Now add a link to the shape. Be careful to select the shape and not the text. Otherwise the text will automatically be styled as a hyperlink and look bad in your design. It's easy to select the text and not the shape. So be aware of that and also that it's an easy fix when it happens. You'll want to select the text again and remove the link from the text and then select the object, in this case the rectangle that the text is inside, select that object and add the link to that object, not to the text, and the problem will go away. Whenever the shape is clicked, it takes the user to the linked page. Now it's just a matter of repetition, adding the right hyperlinks to the right shapes to build out a navigation system that will allow you to demo your app's design. We focused on PowerPoint for this tutorial, but it's also possible to build this kind of presentation with other software like Google Slides presentation software. The technical details will be a little bit different, but the big idea is the same. Use hyperlinks to make your demo interactive and use the keyboard shortcut for adding hyperlinks. It's Command K on the Mac, and that's a really big time saver. And have fun with your design.